What's up guys? So today I wanted to go over, uh, this is the Ortor Laser Master 2 Pro. Uh, this is the first and only laser machine I have, but when I first got into this and I bought this, this is about a $500 machine, I had a lot of questions and I kind of want to help you guys out, uh, especially like when you're working with the different mediums, it's hard to find information of people giving you how fast the speed that you need to make and, and at the power rating. And then if you're using line, fill, and then uh, what program I'm using, I'm gonna be using Lightburn. I did a lot of research. Um, this is the best option for this laser, I think. I use uh, Adobe Illustrator to draw all my SVGs for what I'm gonna be engraving, but you can definitely use this uh, standalone by itself to draw your patterns and also engrave them with your Or2, Orcher, however the hell you say it, Orcher uh, Laser Master 2 Pro. So let's get into it. Uh, today, <clears throat> I wanted to go over um, what I'm using to do the leather hat patches to get the engraving in there. I use uh, all kinds of mediums, wood, uh, cutting stencils, giant stencils, that was for cornhole boards. Um, you can engrave into paper. You can engrave into paper there. So there's a lot of things you can do with this machine, but again, it's really hard to get this list. This has taken me many, many hours of trials and tribulations of burning into materials and messing it up to get these numbers to where I can get a com consistent, reliable result. So today we're going to be going over leather, uh, and it's pretty easy. I'll show you exactly what I do on my setup. Should take like a couple minutes, okay? Okay, so first thing I'm doing is I'm going to my files. I'm just going to grab uh, this is a hat patch that I've done before. I'm drag and drop that into the uh, board that we're working on. So now we're going to select uh, our individual characters here. So I want this to be a fill. I have a pre saved on my number two. So this is for leather. This is the fill that we're going to make it look like that. See? And that setting is 660 millimeters per minute and a power max of 70. That's how we're going to achieve that feel. For the Texas background, we don't want to feel, so we're going to select it. We're going to come over here to 0, 0. Okay, and that's a line. And that's the line that I want to make that Texas shape. For the line, the line set at 70 millimeters per minute, 65 on power. Okay. Okay, for the leather itself, I'm using a one to two leather. It's real thin, burns easy. And I take the whole roll that I got here, I lift up the machine, and I stick it up just like that. Now, if you're having problems with this, I take just a little bit of 3M spray adhesive. Try not to get it on the machine. It's not good for it. Put that dry, and then stick that down. That way, we have a nice, clean, flat edge. It's not flaring out. So now that we're back in Lightburn, we're going to come over here to Fire, and there's videos on how to set this up. I don't quite remember, and I don't think I'd be the best guy to show you. But when we turn on our machine, you hold the power button three, four seconds, turn on, it'll home center itself. You can hear it going. We're going to hit Shift, Fire. Okay. So we're going to come over here. We're going to use these toggles to move. If you hold Shift, it does big moves. If you just click it once, it does a medium move. And if you had Control, it does a small jog. Okay. Then we'll come over, we're going to hit the fire button, and then we're going to go frame, and that'll show us, and you have to hold shift when you hit frame. That's going to show us where we're at on our project. So let me show you what that looks like over here. So I'm hitting my arrow keys on the move screen. That moves this around, so we need to, we want to do right here in this flat spot. So we need to come forward, even with the bottom, we want to do a small one forward, we're going to hold control, click, does these little bumps. Now if we want to do a big one, you hold shift, does this big bump. So I like it right about there. Uh, we can probably come over, but let's go ahead. We're hitting fire. We're going to hold shift and hit frame. Come over. We're going to hit set origin. It's going to set that origin to start. So if it freezes, we can go back and start from origin. And it should theoretically burn in the same spot. After that, all we do is hit start, let it run, come back and get our leather pieces. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps. Uh, again. Those numbers right here, ignore that line number four. So line one for doing our outline, 70 millimeters, 65 power. To do the fill, where this is all going to be filled in, it's 660 at 70 on power. That's all we need.